Hey guys, hope you're hanging in there, you're doing well at home. Um, for your next assignment, I wanted to review a skill that we worked on earlier in the year. One of the things I noticed that when you guys turned in your narratives, something we were all really struggling with was how to wrap up our stories in a neat and satisfying way. I don't know if that was just because people kind of ran out of time and rushed their endings, or if you know they just weren't sure um, how to wrap up their story in a really neat way. So I wanted to give you an opportunity to practice that. So earlier in the week, you guys were assigned a story. Um, you had you had different stories that you were reading, um, but you all had a story that you read, um, and you had a quiz, and you had a short response to do um, in response to the story. And each of those stories I assigned um, had kind of a quick, abrupt ending, and there was definitely an opportunity. Um, for that author to kind of wrap up that story in a different way. So I wanted to challenge you to write your own ending to the short story that you read earlier in the week. Okay, so keep in mind, right, you're ending the story. You're not adding another major event, right? This is this is your conclusion of this story. How would you end it um, in a satisfying way? So just keep that in mind as you're writing. Don't add any elements that weren't there to begin with. Uh, in terms of how long, it shouldn't be longer than two pages. This is just the ending. This isn't like a whole big long narrative. You don't need to go crazy. Um, just two pages max, double space. So really just like a page or so. Okay. Email me as always if you have any questions or you need any help or you want me to look it over and give you some feedback, but you should attach it to this assignment um, and submit it when you're ready. It is due next Wednesday. So you have six days to work on it. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.